Hello. On that one. Great. Thank you. Cheers. Oh no! Yes. You So I've just gone for my first walk in my new van. Very nice. I didn't actually have any intention of re reviewing a pair of vans when I said I'd leaked it in the last game of stick that I uploaded to episode 6. But you know, vans have got pretty popular around the parkour community the last few kind of weeks, months. But they also had black and red as well as the grey, however red ones were full price and the black and grey were both 55% off. Neither of them were in my size, black or grey. I only got grey because they're half a size down from what I usually am, usually between 8 and 9, I usually go for 8.5. But these are 7.5s so I've kind of wedged my way into them, but once I actually had them on, they're not too bad. Don't feel too tight at all really, a little bit around the toe part but I think that's only because I haven't worn them in yet. I've walked down to Tesco to get some batteries for the scale so I could weigh my shoes, and there's a nice little mini spot here that I've trained at before, so I'm gonna do a little bit of first parkour training here as well. Not a lot, because this is a really mini spot. There's like an arm jump, a 180, and a wall run, and that's it. So I'll do those three, and then let you know how much they weigh. I'm gonna get this wall run done, my camera's about to die, so, so first impressions of the shoe so far. Very nice. <laughs> So I'm out here again in Manchester today and I'm going to be doing some training in the new shoes again. So I don't really know what I'm trying to test for but I'm just going to train how I'd usually train and get a good feel for them that kind of way. So it should be good.
So I'm back in Manchester again today and training in the shoes as usual, but it's not ideal conditions at all. No, it's a bit wet and um, this is the real kind of set that I want to be training on today, so going to be a proper test of the shoes today. Absolutely fine. The question now is, can I build it into a longer line? So I've been jumping around in my vans for about three weeks now and I think I've got a pretty good feel for them, they're definitely broken in and I'm ready to do my review 
all the out of five kind of categories. I've got quality, grip, feel, padding, cost, weight, aesthetics, and jump score. Same as last time, except I won't be doing it out of five this time. I'll be doing it out of 10, because I basically did it out of 10 last time, but I put 0.5s between them for some reason. Anyway, so quality is the first category. Now, I think they're very good quality, but under quality, I'm also gonna have durability. So there is some big problems with durability I found with these shoes. I've got a massive rip that have come off these, a massive piece of the sole, which is part of the grip, and it's pretty important because it contributes towards the padding as well. There's also now a big hole in the mesh, which is on top of the shoe, which I think I just dragged along a rock or something, or a wall, I, I don't know. Also, there's so many scuff marks around the sides here. I've not treated these shoes very well, if I'm perfectly honest, but I've used them how I'd usually use a parkour shoe, so I'm giving them a 5 out of 10 on quality, which is low, but they've not held up well at all really. Next we've got grip. For grip I've given them a 10 out of 10. Even though the grip has kind of come away when it was perfect, it was perfect. <laughs> grip to literally everything, bricks, walls, rails. You wouldn't expect it but you see these little nodules here. They come out quite far from the shoe so you'd think it'd decrease the surface area of your grip on the rail but it doesn't they actually squish down and become flat and flush to the rail and it gives you so much grip it's crazy i actually felt comfortable jumping to rails in these and i don't know if you knew this but i hate rails so next i've got feel so how much feeling you've got while you're in the shoe for these i've given them an eight because there are certain points in the shoe where you would get less feel than others and so when you're jumping around it's kind of surprising how much you can feel when you do land or it just depends where you hit the shoe and that's a bit odd like so just below the toe part there's a lot more padding than on the actual toe part which is actually pretty weird to be honest i wasn't expecting that at all and um, then we've got padding so how much padding is in the shoe and for these i've given a seven because there isn't as much padding as i would like in these i feel they're quite shallow and the foam which is on the sole is basically the most padding you're getting for this which is the padding feels all right but I would like a little bit more for the big jumps that I've been doing in them. Like this one, for example, this one hurt. And that's why there are seven. So next we've got cost. Now cost for these, this, as I said at the start, they're supposed to be 75, but I got them 55% off reduced to about 35. So I've given them about a rough estimate of like between those two and I've given them an eight out of 10, which I think is pretty fair. Like 35 pounds for a park rusher is pretty good. Next we've got weight, and for these I've scored a 10 out of 10 because they're the lightest shoe I've ever owned. <laughs> they're even lighter than the Feiways that I've got, which is mental because they're literally just pumps. So they're completely non-restricted with any move. They feel really good to flip in and I haven't had any issues at all, basically. Next we've got aesthetics. I've given these an eight out of 10 because they look nice, but they look worse when you've trained in them. <laughs> <laughs> and finally we've got jump score, so how good do they feel to jump around in? I've also decided to call this the Sam Stunts coefficient, so my kind of feeling on the shoe. And I've given these an 8 because they feel good. They feel good to jump around in, not as good as my stars, that's just how it is. And once the mesh broke on the bottom of the shoe, they start to feel a little less nice <laughs> as well. So out of all those scores mashed together, these shoes get an 80 out of 100 which I think is pretty accurate. It's less than the Star Tans, but not much less. The only thing I'd say about these shoes is because I got them half a size small for me. Maybe they didn't last as long because of that reason. And you can't see, but the mesh on the inside of this part of the shoe on one of them has started to come away like that has as well. But because it's got like a rubber covering on top, you can't see it. And that's part of the reason I've given it a five out of 10 for quality. But the other issues like the sole falling apart and this part of the mesh coming away here has nothing to do with the size of the shoe. So if the if it had held up well, I would have given these shoes a much higher scoring overall because I really enjoyed what jumping around in these shoes. It's just sometimes they were unreliable and they started to break and then they didn't feel as good. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. And, um, and I will be making more shoe reviews in the future. If you couldn't tell, I'm shooting in my new flat, which is very nice. And yeah, leave me a comment on what shoe you'd like me to review next, if it's relatively cheap.